ready to be no millionaire. I was ill prepared. I was prepared to be ill though. The skill was there. In the beginning, it wasn't about the ends. It was about busting raps and standing for something. Fucking acronym. Cut the fucking act like you're happy. I'm fucking back again with another anthem. Why stop when it doesn't have to end? It ain't over till I say it's over. Enough when I say enough. Throw me to the wolves and close the gate up. I'm afraid of what'll happen to them wolves when the thought of being thrown into an alligator pit. I salivated it. Wait is up. Hands up like it's 12 noon. Nah, homie, hold them bitches straighter up. Wave them to your dislocator rotator cuff. Came up rough. Came to ruffle feathers. Now nah, egos, I ain't deflating. The last chance to make this so stadium. And if I don't got enough in the tank, maybe I can just siphon enough to fill up this last can. Man, will I survive in this climate or what? They said I was washed up and got a bloodbath. I'm not a rapper, I'm an adapter. I can adjust. Plus, I can just walk up to a mic and just bust. So, floor's open if you'd like to discuss. Top five in this motherfucker, and if I don't make the cut, what? Like, I give a fuck. I'ma like this bitch off like I'm driving a truck to the side of a pump. Zero to 60, hopping and gunning like G-Unit without the hyphen. I'm hyping them up. And if there should ever come a time where my life's in a rut And I look like I might just give up It might have mistook me for bowing out I ain't taking a bow I'm stabbing myself with a fucking knife in the gut While I'm wiping my butt Cause I just sit it on the mic and I like getting cut I get excited at the sight of my blood You're in a fight with a nut Cause I'ma fight till I die I win But in the dust it'll just make me angrier Wait, let me remind you of what got me this far Picture me quitting Now draw a circle around it and put a line to it smut It's survival or what? Okay, and we are ready. Um, that's um, Survival of the Fittest by Dark Matter Sci-Fi. For Sci-Fi, Michelle. Yeah, I know you are. Me too. <laughs> yeah, me too. Just got home a bit ago. So, yeah, I know what you mean, Michelle. Always working. Um, that's called Survival of the Fittest. Dark Matter. Okay, um, let's get to it. We're going to, at first, the first thing we're going to discuss are portals. Um, give me your opinion on portals while I'm, uh, I'm reading my notes here. Okay, according to NASA, okay, don't get all excited at first, okay. Jack Scudder, he's a researcher at the University of Iowa, has found so-called hidden portals on Earth's magnetic field that open and close dozens of times a day. Some of them are open for long periods of time. And supposedly, he says, they create an 
uninterrupted path from our own planet to the sun's atmosphere, 93 million miles away. Okay, so let me finish and then we'll, we'll, we'll discuss it. Yeah, I, I do too. Valerie, what do you, what's your opinion on portals? Okay, they're called X points or electron diffusion regions, and they are located a few tens of thousands of kilometers from Earth, supposedly, okay? These portals are created through a process of magnetic reconnection in which lines of magnetic force from both celestial bodies mingle and cross through space. They crisscross through space, and this crisscrossing creates X points. The portals are invisible, unstable, and elusive, opening and closing without any warning. When they open, however, they are capable of transporting energetic particles at high speed from the sun's atmosphere to Earth's, causing geomagnetic storms. There's a way to locate them, and supposedly Scudder has found it. Now again, this uses data by NASA's Themis spacecraft and the ESA's cluster probes. Hmm, yeah. Following crucial clues found in the data from NASA's polar spacecraft, which studies Earth's magnetosphere in the late 1990s. And using polar data, they have found five simple combinations of magnetic field and energetic particle measurements that tell us we've come across an X point. A single spacecraft properly instrumented can make these measurements. And supposedly, NASA is getting ready such a spacecraft in their magnetospheric multiscale mission. Okay, MMM. A whole squadron of them, four ships that will be deployed around Earth and surround the portals to deserve how they work. Supposedly, they were supposed to have launched in 2014. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I, I can't believe what NASA tells you anyway. Supposedly, these were deployed in 2014, which, nah, I don't think so. And as far as them opening in the sun's atmosphere, I think they will open uh, to other universes, maybe parallel universes. Portals are doorways, I think. Um, I don't think they're just one way to the sun's atmosphere, you know, th that the sun's atmosphere, 93 million miles away. Uh, maybe in a, a near the sun or whatever, but yeah, yeah, if they're letting us know. Yeah, I agree, Michelle.